Greetings guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Odyssey and on today's video, we're gonna talk about three ways to actually sidechain in FL Studio. So I'm gonna load maybe a kick onto this. It's fine like that. Yeah. So we loaded a kick and we're just gonna make it like go like this, right? Like. And the next thing that we're gonna do is try to add maybe some kind of a base. Let's take morphine. I'm just gonna take a baseline like this morphine. Doesn't matter. Just like that. That's simple. I just do this just for the hell of it. Right. So now that'd be like this. So I'm gonna take both of them into the mixer. So I have a kick here and I have a bass on the other side, right? So what you wanna do is, side chaining is a ducking effect, right? So you wanna make sure that whenever the kick hits, uh, the bass volume goes down or something, or it gets compressed, you know? So number one, okay, number one, add the foot to limiter into the bass, right? Once it's like this, Go to compression and then make sure this goes side chain to this track, right? And then, so you choose the kick. So now the next thing to do is to do the threshold like that and then the ratio to whatever level you want to and then now let's play. Visually, you can see that whenever they hit the kick hits, it actually compresses uh, the bass, right? Depends on the release. If you wanted to make it a big space, then you get it. If you want it to be like a small space, you don't necessarily see it. So you put it wherever it feels good with you, right? So that's the first part of it. You can do that and then uh, the compression gold, and that's the first side chain that we have, right? And then the second type of side chain. So you get to the kick, put in the fruity peak controller, and then you come to the base, you right click on top of the volume, and you say link to controller, and then you go to input, you go to internal thing you choose the picking and then you invert it and you, you press on accept and then depending on the base you can tell where you're putting it straight like at zero volume and then now every time it hits it will go down so now the volume also plays a big part That's another way to dug anything. Okay, the third way to actually sidechain is to put the footy peak controller on this kick. Put the peak controller and then you go to the base, you actually add uh, an EQ. So you wanna do this. You want this volume to be the one that goes up and down where you're EQing the bass, just the part of the bass. And then you can just do this and then say link to controller. So since we already have another pick, you go to the second pick, controller, and then you go inverted, accept. And then the, for the bass, you have to put, make sure that this stays straight. So it gets straight at that point. And then once you start playing, it goes like this. Depending on your volume, it can hit until the end there. And that's three ways to actually uh, sidechain in FL Studio. And I bet there's more ways like uh, automation, but I was just showing you three ways. So I'll see you guys on my next video. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.